Hey guys, this is Thomas Southern Outdoors Fishing. Hope you're all doing all right. I told you guys, uh, actually I mentioned this in, the, in a couple videos back. Uh, if you want me to go through the whole set of my kayak, uh, a couple of you said yes, I would like to see that. And so therefore I am doing it for you guys. Um, I've made a lot of changes ever since uh, 2016, I guess it was, or late 2015 when I bought this kayak. Uh, it, it was it was a big it was it was a different story back then. I didn't have all this stuff on it. <laughs> so we're gonna go throughout the whole kayak uh, from one end of it to the other and show you what I've what I've uh, changed on it, what I've added, what I've taken away, everything, everything. We're going to, so you may want to just go get you a cup of coffee. Uh, you know, sit down at your computer, relax, sit down and watch your big teeth, your big screen. This is gonna be in 4K, by the way. So, um, yeah, just, it's gonna be long. So, just fair warning, enjoy the video. Hope you get something out of it. I'm gonna try to throw in a few tips, maybe, along the way. So I really hope you get something out of it. Let's get started, shall we? All right, guys, we're starting at the very front, very front. Um, what I've done here is I've taken just a, about a 15 foot piece of rope and I pull it out here and I put a loop on the end of it. I, I, what I do with this is I'll take and use this for tying off the boat, uh, dragging it across shoals or sandbars or whatever, tying an anchor to it tying it off, whatever. I mean, that's what I use that for. I also use this for pulling it up on my trailer. So I can grab that thing and just yank it right up on my trailer and I let it off that way. So I can, I can use that just to let it off. So it, it, it becomes a big, big help whenever I'm trying to let the uh, kayak off in the water, dragging it, I can hook it to me, whatever. You know, if I'm wade fishing or whatever, I can just let this thing kind of go and uh or tie it off whatever that's that's that right there is number one so there you go next thing i what i did with this boat when i first got it i put an anchor trolley on it that was one of the very first things i bought and all this stuff guys that i mentioned i will have in the link below and or I'll have linked to Amazon affiliate links in the description below. They are affiliate links. They don't cost you anything to use them. I bought the Hobie Universal uh, anchor trolley, and I got a video. I can I'll link it uh, somewhere on the video here in the top right hand corner or down in the description, and I'll link that video on me installing that um, anchor trolley. It's it's not hard. It takes a little time, but it's not hard. Now, if you guys have a compass, that is a very, very simple process. They make a they make one just for the compass, but I I use that compass uh, anchor trolley on all my other boats that I can't get in the inside the hull. Okay, I use that one constantly. Um, that is my go-to because it's easy. It's so easy. It uses uh, uh, well nuts, so you don't have to worry about getting inside the hull. Those, those, those rubber well nuts have a brass uh, insert on the back side of them. So whenever you tighten it up, it, get, it pulls it up to the back of the kayak on the inside and it, it keeps some water getting in, in or out. So uh, that's, that's um, th th they're perfect. They, they work absolutely great. So I would definitely recommend, if you can't get inside the hull, get the compass, the Hobie compass anchor trolley kit it's awesome it's just like this one only it's the compass version next thing i did on my kayak and i'm kind of skipping over i'm just kind of going in order on how i installed things on my kayak so the next thing i installed on my kayak is the um sailing rudder that thing right there makes a big difference it ain't that expensive and uh it makes a big big difference when you're trying to make sharp turns if you want to make sharp turns it make it really makes a big difference 
So that's the other thing I did is put a sailing rudder on my kayak. Uh, next thing I did when actually when I bought the kayak, I bought the H crate. This is not the junior. I don't want I don't want the junior because it's too small for me. The H crate is perfect size. I can put Plano boxes there. I can put I can store my boxes on the side here. Um, I can I added as you can see all these different rod holders all the way around. Plus I've got one here for my flag. I can lock down my, my rods just like this right here. I can lock those down. It's got four points of contact right here, so I can lock them down here all the way around on all four sides. Uh, I got a place here I can put my, my camera. So whenever I'm, I'm fishing, I got it on I got it on an extender. I angle like this right here. You can see in front, you can see basically me and uh it really gives a good angle uh for for catching fish and just just b-roll so uh now the anchor that i bought just to go back to the anchor system i've got i've got that three or three and a half inch pipe there that i just tie wrapped onto the front of my anchor uh my h crate it's just you know it's just tie wrap there with tie wraps uh works great um that little the little three and a half inch or three and a half pound grapple type anchor is what i use it's getting pretty wore out but still works fine it goes right down in there works great now you probably asking why the heck you got a chain on in that thing you can't break it free if you if you got a chain on it. How, how you gonna break it free if you get it if you get it hung? Well, that's that's a good question. Very good question. Uh, we'll think about that later on down the road. But right now, that's the way that's the way I got it. This right here, this chain, what that does is, whenever I cast it out there, that chain is gonna keep weight down. It's going to keep that that digging in down into the down into the sand is where I'm going to usually use this type of anchor. I'm going to use it in sandy areas. I'm not going I'm not going to use it in a lake with a bunch of stumps and rocks and things like that. You'd never get it back out. So I'm going to use this this anchor this anchor system right here in the sand. Uh, so just to let you know about that. But this this little piece of chain here, I bought it from Lowe's. Uh, it's got a coating on it, a yellow uh, thick coating on it, and it you can buy it by you know by the foot. It's not very much. Um, I got it with that coating on it. It's pretty good. It's pretty heavy chain. It's not super heavy, but it's a little bit heavy. I don't know what size it is. About three eighths maybe. I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know what size it is, but it's the kind they they sell at Lowe's Hardware. It's got that yellow coating on it. They may have different colors now, but that's just what I what they had whenever I got it. I got this little. I put this little ring or this little uh, connector right here, so I can take it off and on if I want to. Uh, then I just tie my rope on it. That's all I did. But that chain will help. Will hold that anchor down and keep and keep you uh, in a spot a lot better than without it, especially in sand. And then of course, I got the little little thing here. I bought, I bought this anchor actually at Walmart is where I bought it at. So um, this right here, just if you happen to lose your, your anchor for whatever reason or need to detach, just chunk it out there and this right here will, will hold it up on the, on the surface. Keep it from floating off or floating down. That's very, very handy. <laughs> uh, you want one of those on your anchor line. If not, you can say bye bye to your anchor if you if it was to come off your uh, come off your kayak. My paddle is inside, but I put my paddle right here. Just got a cheap Canon uh, paddle. It goes there. Um, I put these here. I went in, went over this in a, in a previous video. Uh, these right here are extra rod holders. Uh, for trolling or just just sticking a rod in here or you know whatever they're you know 
it, they work they work really good you're gonna end up losing a rod if you just leave it here i i i, <laughs> I don't trust those so i put that there <coughs> um i made a few of them this right here's got one with threads on it so if i want to add something to it i can i mean not not to say i would but you know i have in the past and i took it off and that's just the way i left it all right guys there's a couple things i wanted to show you the uses for and i, I forgot to, i forgot to bring them out they was in my building so what i've got here is my camera holder you guys know that uh, this right here is a scotty mount i got two one on each side so i could move it over there if i wanted to i normally just keep it on this right side but it does turn as you can see and i can get so i can get some really cool shots with this it just it just turns you pull it up and then you can just push it right down get in position there you go you got a cool shot from way back here look in this direction and that gives you a pretty good field of view if you want to extend it out and it'll go further it'll go a long way out <laughs> so that'll give you a little bit more field of view so that's that's pretty cool there uh the other thing i whenever i'm fishing where well, i'm king fishing just to kind of give you the give this uh thought is uh I, i've got a gaff of course you got to have a gaff uh, so i put my gaff either here or here so and i may what i may end up doing is cutting this thing off uh and make it so it's straight because i don't like that bend in it can't put it nowhere so i'm probably gonna end up cutting that handle off and make it a little bit shorter all right next thing you need is a net i use a big net that's the cast king uh mad bite foldable net that's the biggest one i got um it won't catch your hooks um so it's it's a really good net it extend it extends out folds up all that good stuff it's a really good net i like it what i've got here with my seat is or actually under my seat is just a little hand paddle i got this little hand paddle here uh, this one I got at a uh, NC KFA um, captain's meeting. So that thing right there works really good. And I've got this little hand net. Uh, you don't always need a big net. I got this little hand net here just to have, just to have there. I'm going to take this seat here off. And guys that you see i got this all leashed in here i don't i don't have nothing that's not leashed whenever i got it in here it's going to be leashed that's just the way it's going to be all right so as far as my debt finder goes um i got my debt finder right here this is the lawrence elite 5 ti uh, as you can see here I don't have it on. I got it, I've got it hooked up, but I don't have it on. I used to have it on my ball. Uh, with this right here connecting to it, I could still do that if I wanted to. But I bought the H-Rail with uh, the, I've got the H-Rail ball, RAM ball, and it's just, it's just on there. So I could move it back down to there if I wanted to, but I'm gonna, I want it up high like that. All right guys, so I went and got my little, my little bucket here. You can see I keep toilet paper in there, defishing soap in there, and there's my plug. Uh, so you definitely want to keep one of those. That's all I got with that. As far as my transducer for my for this and how I wired it, I've got what they call a Burley Pro. What's it at? A Burley Pro right there. That right there is awesome. It's absolutely awesome. If you got an older kayak like I do, that's the way to go. Um, you can get the arm that comes out to the side and goes down if you got one of them big transducers. But if you got this one with side scan, that's the that's what I would do. It's fully enclosed, works great. I got a video 
I'll link and I'll show you how I, how I put it on and it's very simple, very easy. Uh, but I just run my wire up from there up into my hole, uh, coiled the rest of what I didn't use back behind here and then I run, every, run it out up to here. This is it right here. So this right here is my transducer for my side scan, down imaging, all that stuff. That's it right there. Um, and I've got my battery. I've got my battery, I keep my battery up here. Guys, the battery I use in here is a Stark Power lithium battery. It just plugs in right there is the way I got it hooked up and uh, works really, really good. I uh, love that thing. It'll last me all day. I mean, it'll, it'll last me for several days. I mean, several days. And then I just got sitting up here on this piece of foam so it don't knock around and all that stuff. And up here, in this little dry bag, I got a, I got a rain suit. So if I get caught out in the rain, I got me a rain suit. So you definitely need something. And uh, this fits perfectly up here, stays dry. I don't have to worry about it. Stays dry and out of the way. All right. Let's see. My little gear track here, I added uh, for my, whenever I had a, um, over the side mount for my transducer. I don't have that no more, of course, but that's what that was used for. And I had a little one inch ball, ram ball, screwed down on top of this. Um, this right here is just for leashing stuff. I mean, that's all, only thing that's for, and I can also tie my kayak up to a dock if I want to. Uh, see, these right here are for rod holders, uh, gear track. I took one long one cut it in half as you can tell one's a little bit longer than the other one and that's what that's for but of course I don't use those anymore because I just installed this a trail on my kayak and this right here I love it I absolutely love it it's very sturdy very strong it ain't gonna go nowhere these are the yak attack omega rod holders um, these are the ones with extensions um, these are $39 a piece I'll link them in the description below if you want to check those out very very easy to move you just mash this button right here it picks it up a little bit and sets it right back down and you can turn it however you want to very quick very easy don't have to loosen nothing the only thing you got to loosen is if you want to change angle on this part or change this right here out and if you want to take the extension out you just take it out and lower it down here I got it on a HRL mighty, uh, mighty mount, which is right there. You can see it. That right there, the T-bolt goes right up in there. And these little wings, uh, there's little uh, notches in this, in this mighty mount with that, those little wings right there on the side of this mount. Um, fits in there perfectly. Works absolutely great. The other side's a little different. I just, I just stuck it on a plate with a bolt up in the, on the bottom of it. So I can show you that real quick. So I just I just took this one. I ground off the little wings on this one, and then I just I just took a bolt and just run up in the in the bottom of it. It ain't going nowhere. I can tell you that. It's just I can use I can multi-purpose this right here if I want to. But right now I just got it on this. So that's where I done that. Of course I got my. Got my camera mount here in the front. Uh, I've got my uh, drive here. This is the non-180 drive, which I'm getting ready to convert it to a 180 drive. Uh, just ordered the parts, and I'm going to be converting that. Um, hopefully next week. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, let's see what I keep in here. Inside my kayak, all the time, is a knife, um, a little snack, uh, something to tie a fish off with to the boat if I need it, a pair of pliers, 
a Sharpie, a Senko tool, and some, uh, some Procure. And then are those just tells me slot limits for fish and how many per day and all that stuff. Thanks to my buddy Connor, uh, he, he, he hooked me up with that. So I appreciate that. Okay, on this side, I got a leash that I keep my pliers on all the time. These right here are the, uh, the Mad Bite pliers. They work great, they got cutters on them. They, they just, they're stainless steel. Never had a problem with them, but I've got them leashed off as you can see. I keep some little, I keep a little bit of fluorocarbon here on this side. This is just some, some Berkeley fluorocarbon I just had on hand. Um, got some more Procure on this side and a couple tie wraps. And of course I got a bait down there. So, but that's, that's all I got there. I use that fluorocarbon for leader, leader material when I'm fishing uh, down the coast or whatever. Uh, I also keep mono in here or in here. So if I want to use a top water bait, top water bait to uh, braid, it won't get wrapped around my hooks all the time. Uh, let's see. Next, I don't have anything back in the back, so I ain't got to worry about that. Um, right here, I've got, uh, I just took a Sharpie. If you don't, you guys may not want to do this, but I took a Sharpie and just wrote, uh, just put a measuring tape here on the side. If I don't have a measuring tape for whatever reason, if I forget my board or whatever, and I just want to get a guesstimate on, on the length of a fish, I've got it right here. So that's what that's for. And uh, guys, I think that'll absolutely do it. Um, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope I covered everything pretty well. Um, I try to cut it down as much as I can. I know the end of the video is going to be long, but hopefully you will you will get something out of how I rigged up my kayak. Uh, I used to have the battery in the back. I moved it to the front when I got this bigger battery. And uh, just to kind of throw that out there to you, if you watch some of my old videos, I used to I've had the battery in the center, in the back, and now it's in the front. So as I said before, the A trails. Whenever I installed them. Uh, a few weeks ago that's the last thing i did to it and this boat has been a work in progress from day one <laughs> it really has from day one it's been a work in progress ever since i got it and i have totally totally enjoyed it it has been a great boat i'm going to continue to use this boat i had no plans of changing this boat to another boat uh, i'm still going to use this boat uh, like I said, I'm getting ready to upgrade my drive. I'm going to do that hopefully next week once I get all my parts in. Hopefully they'll come in this week. So I'm going to upgrade my drive and uh, block the wind from my microphone here. <laughs> so uh, hopefully I'll get that done and I'll make a video on how to do that as well. I know there's other videos out there, but I'll, I'll make one so you got a reference. Again, guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you got something out of it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and be sure to uh, drop me a like. Likes are always uh, appreciated. Leave me a comment on what else you want to see. Is there something else you want to see? Is there something I didn't cover? Is there, you know, do you want me to show you how to launch? Do you want me to show you, you know, I don't know. You tell me. Is there something I need to cover kayak fishing related uh, that I have not covered already? Um, I wish I could do how-to videos there in the shop because I could really show you a lot of stuff in there. But I um, can't really do that. <laughs> Guys, be sure to enter my giveaway. I'll have it linked in the, in the comment section or in the, uh, in the description below. Look on any uh, links that I've got down there. Uh, if there's something you want to you wanna get or look at, i got affiliate links on Amazon. Like I said, don't cost you anything to check out those links. Just just click on them and uh, check the product out. All right, I guess that'll do it. Guys, have a great weekend. Um, I appreciate every one of you. Y'all take care, and we'll see you next video. Peace out. Guys, be sure to... Yeah. Guys, be sure to... Uh, dang it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello there.
Yeah.